So in 2002, I was working for a golf course construction company, built a course here, and shortly thereafter saw an opportunity to get started in the civil and utility construction business here in the, in the Cadiana region. Phone was ringing and uh, off we went. We are a civil and utility contractor. The main emphasis of our business at this moment in time is residential development. Do all of the utility work, site work, site preparation, all the way through you know, curb gutter, paving. You know, our, our success is completely tied to creating alliances with uh, with vendors and uh, people who support us. We now see the value in a relationship that supports our operations and keeps us in the field. So after some years of trying some other brands, we fell soundly on the Komatsu. The equipment performs well, it's very reliable, and uh, the support fee has been outstanding. I would say in the last six or seven years, we've switched most of our fleet on the Komatsu. We found the equipment to be reliable, and as much so, or more so, even uh, when we have a service issue, it's, it's resolved quickly. So uh, one of the things that we really enjoy, especially in the West Texas operation, is full support. We get maintenance plans on the machines. They come out and they service them. They alert us when it's time for service, and, and that's, a, that's a big big part of it. We're running excavators, Komatsu, I think 170 through the 360, and dozers in the 51 and 61s. You know, in the dozers, the 61s are, are workhorses. They, they perform well. They move a lot of earth, uh, reliable machines. The 51 is a good machine, all-around machine. Adequate power for moving earth on smaller projects and, and does a great job finishing. The excavators are, are reliable. The 170s, 290s, those are utility machines, uh, perform well. Uh, and then the 360s are, are used primarily on, on mass excavations, are productive and reliable. And so I, I think that we continue to evolve our fleet and, and keep it fresh.